Today we're going to talk about turbochargers. We're going to talk about the function within the engine, failure modes, and why you may need a new turbocharger. So how does a turbocharger function within your engine? Let's go over some of the basic principles of a turbocharger, its components, and how it works. So this is what they call the turbine housing. It's gonna to bolt to your exhaust manifold. Uh, there's a uh, wheel in here called the turbine wheel that spins based on the amount of exhaust coming out of your engine. When it spins, it's connected to a shaft that runs through the center housing of the turbocharger. The center housing has got your bearings and your seals. It's also uh, got an oil feed and an oil drain as well as some turbochargers are going to have coolant running through them to keep that center section cool. On the other side, this is where the money's at. This is going to be your compressor housing and your compressor wheel. This is the side that's going to actually take the fresh air, compress it, and introduce it into your cylinder head um, and help your engine run as good as it possibly can. So here we got two different turbochargers, two different styles of turbochargers that are commonly used on diesel engines. Um, they're very similar except for one difference uh, on the two turbos. Uh, this particular turbo has got what they call a wastegate actuator. Uh, this particular turbo does not have that wastegate actuator. Uh, the wastegate actuator is, uh, performs uh, a function of allowing you to uh, have quick spool up on the low end without overspeeding your turbo on the high end. It also regulates boost pressure to a, a reasonable preset level. Um, the basic components of the turbocharger other than that are going to be the same. So we've got a uh, turbine housing uh, that hooks to the exhaust manifold with a turbine wheel uh, that is spun by exhaust gases. Uh, the more exhaust gas you have, the faster the turbine wheel spins. The shaft runs through the center housing that of the turbocharger uh, that will have oil feed and oil drain lines on it. Uh, it may also have uh, coolant lines on them uh, to keep that center housing cool. The center housing also contains uh, your bearings and seals, uh, oil seals and the bearings for the shaft that runs through the center. On the compressor side, uh, you've got your compressor housing as well as a compressor wheel. Uh, the function of the compressor wheel is to take your incoming air uh, fresh air from your air cleaner, compress it and allow it to get into the engine um, giving you better efficiency and better fuel economy and better power. So we've got a couple turbochargers here. We, one's a brand new one and one is a failed turbocharger. Just to give you a kind of an idea uh, of some of the failure modes, uh, when you look at this brand new turbocharger and you look at the, uh, the face of the compressor wheel, uh, you'll see that everything is uh, perfect edges. Um, nothing can touch the face of the compressor wheel except air coming from your air cleaner. So anytime you get damage to the face of the compressor wheel, uh, it's going to be a foreign object that got into your system. Uh, maybe you changed your air cleaner and something fell out and, and got into the intake hose. Uh, maybe your air cleaner was uh, one that one of the guys blew out and the compressed air split the split the element and allows dust to get through, but it does not take much to the face of your compressor wheel to see that you've got uh, excessive damage to that. And the problem with it is being the fastest spinning piece in your engine, uh, it is a highly precision balanced rotating assembly. And if you start taking pieces off the front of that compressor wheel, uh, things come out of balance and things come apart quickly it'll cause major engine damage. So what causes excessive black smoke? Well, there's got to be a particular air fuel ratio that produces clean emissions, no exhaust. That's when everything's running great. If you've got excessive black smoke, that's too much fuel, not enough air. Not enough air, a lot of times, is going to be your turbocharger. So if your turbocharger's making noise, a lot of times, it's going to be due to uh, the compressor wheel or the turbine wheel hitting the housing or possibly a center section bearing failure. Um, the center section bearing failure usually happens uh, if you've got uh, diminished oil supply, maybe your return line is kinked off, 
Or maybe you've had an engine failure that's uh, introduced coolant into your engine oil or fuel into your engine oil. Um, coolant and fuel in the engine oil do not lubricate very well. And with the turbocharger being the fastest spinning bearing in your engine, um, it is susceptible to contamination in your engine oil, uh, which would allow the bearings to fail and then subsequently the wheels to start hitting the housings. So today we've been talking turbochargers. We're going to go over a typical turbocharger from Highway and Heavy Parts and just show you what is in the box. We'll open this thing up and see what you get. So as we open it up, you're going to find that you get uh, a turbo mounting gasket, turbo feed gasket, and turbo drain gaskets. That's typical with most turbochargers that you're going to get from Highway and Heavy Parts. So they're usually going to become packaged in this expandable foam packaging to keep the turbo safe in its transit. And then the turbocharger is usually going to be packaged. Typically in a plastic bag in case any of the foam breaks down, it doesn't get into the turbocharger. Um, so it's, uh, it's got covers over all the appropriate holes there. And uh, that's what you're going to need to get your truck back up on the road. So here at Highway and Heavy Parts, we've got all kinds of turbos. We've got new turbos, we've got remand turbos, we've got turbos to fit your needs. Um, the OEM hasn't made their own turbos in, in many years and relies heavily uh, on suppliers to make those turbos for them. Oftentimes we're getting turbos from the very same suppliers that uh, the supply to the OEM for 30 to 50% off retail pricing. When you go to the OEM, a lot of times they're gonna give you a remanufactured turbo. Uh, we like the fact that in a lot of cases that we've got brand new turbos for you so you don't have to return cores and it just makes it a lot, uh, lot simpler. So if you need a turbo, we've got what you need. Give us a shout, 844-447-1453. Or you can go on our website and use the online quoting tool. We'd be glad to give you a quote at www.highwayandheavyparts.com. From diagnosis through delivery, or highway and heavy parts.